<sighs> okay. Well. Hey everyone, Mendes here, Blue Brawl, as you might know. Um, remember when I put you through 8 minutes of crap? Well, today I'm going to put you through about 10. See, this episode's going to be covering the rest of Yoshi's Island. And, yeah, nothing too serious, nothing too small. We're just going to have a little fun with this game, okay? Let's start with Yoshi's Island 3. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is like my fifth attempt at recording this. I'll be blunt, the past four attempts, I did record all of it, all I needed to record, but it got erased. Don't ask, but it got erased, and I was on the verge of rage for a second, but yeah, that's just how it is. Fuck Christ, it's just, it's, it gets annoying at times, you know, just trying to record it, and then just like losing all of it in some day of loss of some sort, just, oh Christ, oh, oh, we didn't even need to, yeah. I thought I was going to either use the Yoshi Suicide Jump there, but I guess that's not the case. Anyways, this is just going to be... This is now becoming a regular LP now. I decided to go with it. And besides, it's, good. it's a good little thing to do on the weekends. Four days. You know, every time I have a free day, I'm just going to do this. Or maybe, like, in the weekends, just, like, make as much recordings as I could, and then... And then collateral them all together, and then over the week, I'll release them one by one. I guess that could be the case, but... I mean, those are going to be some very busy weekends right there, I'll just tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through all the Dragon Coins in this Let's Play, and because and all the exits, too, because I guess that's, that's all I can do right now. Um, also, I think I might show you some secret tricks, but I don't really know too much right now. Maybe I'll just do a couple practice runs before I get the hang of it and show everything to everyone. Well, today's not been the greatest of days right now, I'll tell you what. It's been pretty craptacular at the most. It's good to know they at least have 7 subscribers actually looking at what I do right now, and that's fun. And I thank you 7 subscribers for making me let, feel less of an asshole in this place called YouTube. Lit. And it feels nice to actually have an audience of some sort with these Let's Plays, but... I mean, I guess the main purpose of these Let's Plays is just to have fun. At least that's how it should be. But I don't know why, but I have some sort of sense in my head that I need to beat Chugga Conroy in terms of subscribers. I don't know why. I'll try and get rid of it over the days, but... I don't know why. And I, I don't want to post this to video responses to Chugga Conroy, Chug Conroy's channel anymore. I just... If I'm really going to be my own success, then... Stop mooching off other people's success, you know, because Choco Conway has 80,000 plus. I have about 7. I know, right? We're very close together, but I mean, you know, I'm not going to be mooching off his talent and his awesomeness. I swear that guy edits like a freaking pro, and I envy him for that. And at the same time, I can respect him and idolize him for it. He's just that awesome of a person. I wonder if he'll ever do an LP of this. If he ever does, chances are he might mention me, but just give me like a smooth, small mention, like, hey, there are a couple other people doing this, you know, like Slim Caribbean Blue Brawl, you know, might even check out, but forget about them. Look at me. I'm Chugga Conway. I'm the awesome one. And yeah. Oh, cripes. I th think my brother's calling me for something, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm ignoring him. I tell you what, my brother's the worst. Most spoiled brat in the history of man. He's just <sighs> okay. Imagine the worst possible saw trap in all the saw series. Okay, multiply that by five. Okay, divide the chance of survival by a thousand or nine thousand and two. That being your choice. Um. Okay. Now add a couple piranhas and subtract. And subtract uh, the number of hope you have in you. Okay, you got all that. You write that down. Okay, good. Cause that's just how much, how much I hate my brother right there. That's how much I can bear him right there. It's just like he's just like all that put together. He's just, he's just annoying. Hey, if you have a small brother, then you would know. But I'm pretty sure not many of you guys know. I mean. Out of seven subscribers, who's really gonna have a small brother in their family? Maybe a small sister. But I don't think the. 
I think I would have better have a better time with a small sister than a small brother. Because with a small brother, he's just practically trying to be like you in every way, shape, or form. And you realize he's just a little brat inside out for it. And that the second you go to college or make it big in life, he's just going to be mooching off you. But, you know, I have to be some sort of model for him. I realize that. But god damn it, if I have to fucking wash him. Or a bath. Let's give him a bubble bath one more fucking time. I think I'm gonna go into rage. <sighs> I'm gonna go do this. This is the first boss in the entire game. Iggy Koopa. Um, nothing too special about this guy. He's pretty simple. And just like that, he's taken down. Dun dun. Okay. With that, we have finished our first level. Yay for finishing levels. We're so awesome. Blah 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 blah. We finished the level. Blah blah blah. Um, and of course Yoshi Egg says little thanks, and you blow up with dynamite. And with that, we have done it. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in Castle Number One and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in the egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Win. I call win. Let's move on here. And just like that, the castle blows up. You move up on a bridge that suddenly magically appears. And then you grenade a bad black screen that says continue and save, and yes, you will save. Because... Well, you cannot save, because this is really not too hard. Okay, here we go. Now in Donut World. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> oh, and here we are about to get the most useful item in all of Super Mario World. The magic flying leaf! It's so full of wind! And not fail. I swear, I... This weapon this is this is not a weapon. This um, power up is like the most useful power up in the entire game. You will have so much fun with this power up. You you will not imagine. And it's also good for doing speed runs, you know, so you can practically fly over the stage all you want and just not worry about it. I said, I this is practically just this is pretty much a way of tributing to Super Mario Bros. 3's I don't know what to call it. But it's also like a raccoon leaf of some sort. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, it's, their it's like their evolution of that. And to the better, actually, I didn't really like the raccoon leaf in Super Mario Bros. 3. Kind of think of it, I didn't really like too much of Super Mario Bros. 3 in general. I mean, it wasn't too bad of a game. I mean, everyone said it was the best NES game of all time compared to that. It's Elden, Mega Man, and such. But you know, I never really got into it. And of course, just for criticizing the NES, I don't get any extra lives. Yippee fucking Wii. Oh! No! No! Yoshi! No! No! Our Yoshi died. He will sorely be missed. <laughs>